Welcome to another episode of the Ocho Nueve Garage. Uh, today, I'm going to start getting this thing ready for the car show that is uh, a week from tomorrow. I'm not really all that happy with the way it looks under the hood right now, so that's what I'm getting at today. Rather than explain it over there and then come back over here and explain it again, I guess I already popped the hood. I'll just bring bring you right over here and explain one time all right i know i'm not going to get this 100 percent perfect the way i want it at least without removing the motor and all kinds of stuff but there are little things that could get cleaned up the previous owner sprayed some kind of wax crap all through here i'm assuming it's probably something like a cavity wax although this isn't in a cavity but I've fought this since I bought it. Never really got to it under the hood. Uh, most of it's gone in the other parts of the car, but honestly, this thing's never gonna see water really again unless it's getting washed. So I'm just gonna try to get rid of what I can. I'm hoping uh, my weapon of choice that Hasn't failed me yet, will not fail me again. Simple green. But you know, there are just a couple things that I need to get tidied up. I kinda fidgeted around over here when I was putting Frankie together, seeing how some hoses and stuff ran. Uh, I need to get rid of this bracket. I'd really like to find a way to make to cap these off and make them look somewhat respectable maybe cap those off as well um, anyway I'm gonna hop on it and you know there's just little things like this I get the tapes worn off and I haven't really got under here for probably a couple years so Got the motor all wet obviously she fired right up then I just washed it as you just saw I just wanted to uh, make sure the motor gets dried up I really wasn't planning on washing it but so much overspray got all over it from the hose that I just said to heck with it let's just give it a once over real quick this won't be the final Boy, my hair looks good, doesn't it? This won't be the final wash before the car show. I'm just, uh, you know. I don't know if you remember the B4s, but that is 999% better. I also need to try and get something to get the gum from the stickers off of this. I don't know. Just little things here and there. Basically, 
the whole point of this car this year is to take it to shows and that's it welcome back to the garage of the 8-9 yesterday we started cleaning under the hood today I'm going to continue on it I went over and found some caps to cap off the heater core and hopefully both AC lines the, <clears throat> the larger AC line uh, calipers out I don't know 0 0.88 or something like that the largest I could find on these caps is three quarters but there's just I just want to make it look more presentable so while I've been under here I found a couple of issues or maybe potential issues i'm going to the wrong side of the car to show you uh let me show you what i found well first that's a vacuum plug was a vacuum plug you can see it's holy it went religious on me um let me show you what else by the way those caps i wound up getting a three quarter to fit on that it was a little stretching, but it worked. That one's a three quarter, that's a five eighths, and that's a half. One thing that I did notice, and I wanted to, I'm gonna have to get in here and fix this. I don't see any wires worn through, but this bit of the harness, right there, has been rubbing on the firewall right here. Now, it was, Right there, I don't really see, I don't see any bare chafed wires or anything like that, but that is something I need to address right now before it becomes a problem. Of all of the things you can still buy for these cars, the one thing that I've never seen is this little vacuum, I don't even know what you call it, distribution block I don't know never seen this goes right there I've never seen a replacement anywhere for these thing that sucks is Frankie had one that was not broke and I had every intention of uh, putting it on this car instead but uh, when I was putting the motor in Frankie I hit this when I was putting the motor in Frankie, I hit this line, and she broke. All right, here we are. Day's end. I redid the tape on the harness back there. I painted the top along here. There was some paint chips and stuff that I got rid of. I painted up through here. All this here got painted painted all this too um, I took the bracket off for that and painted it oh yes that worked fantastically I took the wiper motor apart so I could paint this I also fixed that so it looks better all right we're two days Two days from the car show. Man, I got a sneeze like right here. I've been right around this uh, fiberglass and, <laughs> and the sun. Sorry. Anyway, I've got this hood blanket. I'm going to throw her on up here and make it look more gooder. Uh, so I'm doing kind of a video showing before I do it, and then I'll show you after. All right, so there's the blanket. I need to figure out how to take this thing apart and get this out and paint it. Hey guys, I painted it. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to pull it apart. I'm in a time crunch. So I used a Sharpie. Isn't that pretty? Got the hood seal in back there. 
Well, I got in here and squirted some stuff around and tried to shine on it a little bit. We'll see how it looks in the morning. All right, so it's the next morning. <laughs> it's windy. That's gonna be kind of a fun detail job today. Uh, I don't know if you can see all the crap blowing around out here, but I, I mean, even in here in the garage, I got cotton and everything. I just swept this out last week and all this crap's in here already. So, I just, since I've had it all torn apart, I just got my test light out there, went back out, made sure I got everything hooked back up for the fan. I'd hate to get, you know, I'm this this uh, show's about uh, 40 miles away, roughly. Uh, more like 35. Either way, I need my cooling fans if I'm going to be going out there. So I wanted to make sure I had all the Taurus fan all hooked back up and everything like that correctly. High, low, circuit, all that. It's all 100% satisfactory everything works fine so uh, now there's just some minor details that i need to do under the hood i missed them last night because the garage was dark now that i got it out in the sun i'm seeing just a couple little spots that i need to go over so well here it is i went over it all washed it up real good through some waxaroo on it. Whoa! Almost fell over. It's go time. It's 8 o'clock right now. It starts in an hour. I have about uh, 35 40 miles to drive. It rained last night, so I'm really hoping that when I open this garage I don't get a bunch of water on the car.
that's a wrap. Just got home from the all Ford show, Mustang show, whatever. Lots of sweet cars today. Lots of Fox bodies. I, I don't know where we're at. Six or seven Fox bodies out of uh, 54 vehicles that registered anyway. So, and seven were Fox bodies. That's a, that's a pretty sweet turnout for these cars. I got to meet Cody from the uh, YouTube channel 5 today. That was a pretty cool experience. Um, I will put a link to his channel downstairs there. May I suggest you run over there and uh, subscribe over there as well for some great content. And uh, thanks again. It's nice to meet you, Cody. Anyway, thanks for watching and see ya. Thanks, like, share, subscribe. Yep. I'm done.